Hi, I'm Joe Daniel from JoeDanielFootball.com and the Football Coaching Podcast. Today I want to show you a little bit of a split field coverage, really one piece of the split field coverage, which is going to be cover two. Uh, now it's not your cover two like you'd be looking at, you know, traditional cover two. This is robber. So this is all coming out of TCU and the TCU split field coverage with the 425 defense, uh, which I teach uh, not just the split field, we teach the entire package uh, in the 425 defense system at 425defense.com. What we're looking at here with the split field, so I've got a two all the way across right now, two back formation, this would be fine. Uh, obviously, if you get into things where it's not a two back formation, where you've got a one back formation, you're gonna need to do something different on this weak side. But for right now, we've just got a call of two. So we're not split field right now, but we're gonna teach the read side of the split field coverage against a pro set, okay? So this is just one small piece of the, uh, of the system uh, and of the coverage. So right now we've got a two. Now what we do is we don't split call uh, to the weak side as much. We can, we have the ability to, uh, but if we want to call two, we'll just make a, uh, a sky or a cloud check and run a, either a kind of a, a, a force with the, what it does, it tells the safety he's force or it tells the corner he's force, sky or cloud. Um, and then we can play a man coverage and, and use a backer force too. We're gonna focus on the read side right now. And the read side is going to be the passing strength. So right now we've got two receivers over here. This is the passing strength. So we're focused on this read side. I'm not gonna talk a whole lot about the away side. Um, the backers will need to know whether they're the read backer or the away backer because we're calling strength based on the front for them and there's a separate strength for the back five here. So over here we're in a two and essentially what we've got is robber coverage. So if you're familiar with just traditional robber coverage, that's basically what we've got going on here. Uh, it is really truly a two coverage. The corner on the backside and the corner here are responsible for deep half uh, and the free safety is not going to be in a deep middle here. He is responsible if he gets a vertical by number two, but he's not just playing a deep middle zone. So you really have deep half players. So let's start off with our alignment. I'm not gonna worry about the front right now. Their alignment is gonna be based on whatever front we have called. The strong safety is gonna play seven yards wide against the tight end three yards off the ball. Now, I love this. This is something we started doing a few years ago. Uh, what we teach is, you know, don't line up tight. I see a lot of coaches who say, hey, we're getting, you know, they're running to the outside. Let's get this guy tighter and tighter and tighter. Well, this guy's faster than you. So what we do is we line up where he's going. If he's going to run a tall, sweet path, we're going to be lined up out here. We're going to line up where he's going and meet him on the way because that guy's primary job is force, okay? So he is your force player. And if you're familiar with the umbrella, he would be our force he would be our alley, and the umbrella is a really important part of what we teach in the 425 defense system. So he's gonna be seven yards wide, three yards off. He's the force player, he's the pitch player on option, and he's responsible for the flat, okay? So he's gonna be responsible for the flat out here. He does not have to run with a wheel into. Um, he does have to run if he got some sort of wheel out of the backfield. So he is uh, a, a wheel out of the backfield, which we call swing deep three. Um, if number three runs a wheel, he's gotta go with him. Okay. Um, our linebacker, I'll just touch on real quick. He's basically your traditional hook curl linebacker. What he's going to do is to look to wall. If he gets a drag or anything like that, he's going to wall number two. And then he's going to be responsible for vertical of number three. If he doesn't get any of that, he's looking for any in routes or crossing routes coming to him, listening for communication. It's very important that he gets that communication. But he is responsible that back releasing uh, in here, he's going to pick him up and he's responsible for that kind of hook curl area. He's going to wall two. He's going to be vertical of number three. But again, his main job is to stop the run, stop the run, stop the run. Our corner is seven yards deep. Okay. And again, play it based on your talent, based on your ability. You know, if that guy's a burner, I'm going to play deeper. If he's real slow or this guy's real fast, I may play him a little bit tighter. Uh, but base rule is seven yards deep. We actually play two yards inside. Okay. Cause we're really, really post conscious. We've got help to the outside with the sideline. Now, if he has a tighter split, that's going to change. If he goes even tighter, we go to an outside leverage. But um, base, let's say he's sitting in the top of the numbers, we're going to be seven yards off, two yards inside of the number one receiver. The free safety is going to line up with a tight end and a pro set. He's going to be lined up over top of B gap. And he's going to be about eight yards off. Okay, He is a run-stopping player. Now, the beauty of this and the great thing about it and why it's such a great run-stopping uh, uh, coverage call 
And people think that the 425 is a is a spread defense or passing defense. It's not. That's that's incorrect. It's just wrong. Um, this is a run stopping defense. It's we're playing high school football, right? We're not subbing in some nickel back here. I got my best 11 guys on the football field. Okay, so my free safety though by doing this becomes very aggressive, ninth man in the box, and usually not accounted for by the blocking scheme. So he's at eight yards. He can be very aggressive to play the run. He is the alley player, which is the fit between the last man in the spill, the last man under the umbrella, and the force. Okay, so on the run play, he'd be uh, he'd be the um, alley player. On option, he's going to play quarterback to pitch. So that's his run uh, responsibility. His pass responsibility is he's going to check for vertical of number two. If number two runs a seam route, he's got him. Uh, and then if number two does not run a seam route, he's going to rob number one. Okay, And what we mean by that is that he's going to run to the inside hip of the number one receiver underneath him. Okay, So he's going to run on a curl route. He'd be robbing the curl. On a post route, he'd be overtaking the post uh, underneath it. So he's giving some extra help to the corner. So what I'm going to do real quick is just line up a couple of different route combinations and show you how we'd cover them. Um, if we got verts, Okay, and again, we are not concerned about the other side of the field because in a split field coverage, what they're doing is separate. Okay, so if we got a vertical release by both guys, we got a seam and a go. Okay, in that case, our corner, he would check. He's checking for quick game, and then he's going to end up on the go route. Our free safety, bounce read. We read the quarterback. He gets pass. Eyes go to number two. Number two is releasing vertical. He's got him. Okay. So we're, that's how we're going to pick that up. And then we usually get a late release to the flat by the R, since we're not blitzing anyone. That would be your strong safety there. If you wanted to sit down and hook up in the middle, that would be your backer. Okay, second route combination, a curl flat. Okay. We know right now, this is where a robber comes in. Our corner's gonna be over top. Our, our strong safety will have the flat. And our free safety doesn't get a vertical by number two, the Y. So he goes to rob underneath that curl route. Uh, and this is where the robber coverage really comes into play because with that corner's reading, that corner's reading off that strong safety, or that quarterback's reading off that strong safety in the corner, he's expecting now when that strong safety flies to the flat, he's expecting the curl route to be open. We close that door very quickly uh, because of the fact that we're there for it. Okay, and then finally, a wheel handle the wheel route. I do not want my strong safety. My strong safety is a glorified linebacker. Uh, in, in all truth, uh, I do not really want him to run with the wheel route. So if we got a post wheel, something like that, okay, our strong safety would be running with the flat. Our corner would be over top here, and he's going to recognize the wheel and come back because he's that deep half player. So the corner will end up with the wheel. The free safety would bounce. Okay. See, he's got an out by number two. Now he goes to Rob and match that post and he's going to pick the post up there. Okay. And we'll take over the post with the wheel. The corner's staying over top, staying over top. He knows, he knows he's got the help from the free safety. So he does not have to keep flying. He's able to come back to the wheel. Uh, he's got to recognize when he's got that out route by number two, uh, that there's a potential of the wheel route coming. So he's going to be our wheel guy on this. I did not want our strong safety to have to run with the wheel. Um, I, I didn't think that that was the best thing. Now, he does still have swing deep three, um, but I didn't want him running with the wheel. Uh, over here, our weak safety would have to run with a number two and a wheel in two, and that's why we have another check, which is the blue coverage uh, that we'll be able to run so that he doesn't have to do that. Because, again, I don't want him uh, to have to run with the wheel either. So as much as possible, we keep those guys from having to do it because we are really, uh, personnel-wise, we can sub – but these guys have got to be run stoppers. High school football stopping the run for us, at least in our area, is more important than anything else. If you want to go deeper into the 425 defense, you can check it out. Go to 425defense.com. Learn all about the 425 defense system from joedanielfootball.com. And also check out the Football Coaching Podcast. And follow me on Twitter at FootballInfo.